Welcome to Operations Management Decision Making. The key decisions an operations manager faces include what, what resources, what amount, when, when do we need them, should we schedule them, should we order them, where, where is the work to be done, how is the work to be done, and who is to do the work. In making these decisions, we can use models, quantitative approaches, analysis of trade offs, and a systems approach. Keep in mind that this is an introductory video, so I'll just mention these briefly. We will cover them in more detail elsewhere. A model can be defined as an abstraction of reality. We use models to simplify decision making. There are three broad categories of models. Physical, this can include a model of a plant with machinery that you can move around to figure out the placement. Schematics, these are basically just straight out drawings or blueprints. And mathematical models like queuing theory, material requirements planning, inventory models. Models are easy to use and less expensive than other approaches to solving problems. They require the user to organize their data, their thoughts, their approaches. The process of setting up the model can increase your understanding of the situation. They allow you to analyze what if questions. For example, if you're setting up a waiting line model for a bank, you can ask what happens if we increase the number of tellers or decrease the number of tellers. They are a consistent tool for evaluating and standardizing decision making, so anyone using the model with the same inputs would reach the same conclusion. And the mathematical models allow us to harness the power of mathematics to help us make better decisions. Models have some limitations as well. The quantitative information may be emphasized over the qualitative information. This is especially true with mathematical models since they're all quantitative. The models may be incorrectly applied and the results misinterpreted. Non-qualified users may not comprehend the rules on how to use the model. So using the wrong set of inputs, or using the wrong set of data. And just because you use a good model doesn't mean you'll make a good decision. Quantitative methods is a decision-making approach that frequently seeks to obtain a mathematically optimal solution. In other words, it tries to find the single best solution giving a set of inputs. Some of the ones that are used in operations management include linear programming, queuing theory, also known as waiting lines, inventory models like the economic order quantity model, project management models, and statistical models. Oftentimes, operations managers have to analyze various trade-offs. For example, a decision on the amount of inventory to stock. Think about a retail store. The more inventory they hold, the less likely it is that a customer will come in and not find what they're looking for. So they'll have higher customer satisfaction. However, holding more inventory costs more money, specifically inventory holding costs. So the trade-offs that they're trying to analyze are customer satisfaction versus cost. Operations managers have to take a systems approach. That is, they have to look at what's best for the entire organization, not what's best for their department. So, for example, their department might benefit from having lower inventory and therefore lowering inventory holding costs, thus making their department look more efficient. However, that might not be what's best for the entire organization. If you like these videos and want to see more, please subscribe and click the like button.